Well, thank you, everybody, for being here. This is the January 20th, 2022 meeting of the Sacramento Area Flood Control Agency. Wendy, would you please call the roll and establish a quorum? Next slide, please. Yes, thank you. Director Conant? Director Avdis? Director Reeder? Here, Avdis is here. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Director Holloway? Present. Director Shaw? Here. Thank you. Director Ashby? Chairman Harris? Here. Director Jennings? Here. Director Desmond? Here. Director Frost? Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Vice Chairman Kennedy? Here. Director Natoli? Director Cerna? Here. Thank you. We do have a quorum. Thank you, Lindy. Um, Director Reeder, would you be so kind as to, to lead us in the pledge? Sure. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Next. Thank you and welcome Director Reeder coming to us from RD1000. We appreciate your presence here, probably more than you know. Um, directors, I'd like to point out to you at this time, we're gonna rearrange the order of the agenda. Uh, there's a reason for that. So we're gonna have Lindy um, read the announcements. We'll, we'll do public comments. Then we're going to take the uh, consent calendar followed by the election of officers and then move into closed session. I just wanted to make you aware that we had to rearrange the agenda a little bit. And so Lindy, if you have any announcements to read. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This meeting of SAFCA is being recorded and will be re-aired on Friday, January 21st at 4 p.m. and will be available on SAFCA's website 48 hours after the meeting. Would members of the audience please remember to mute your microphones when you're not speaking to help eliminate excess noise. Thank you. Next slide, please. So thank you for that, Lindy. Um, do we have any public comments not on the agenda? I have not received any, Chairman Harris. Nobody is on the call who wishes to speak, I take it. So we can move no, right no. Uh, I'm sorry, does somebody have a comment? Yeah, Mr. Mr. Chair, this, uh, Jeff, this is Don Atoli. I'm, I'm in attendance. I just call, called in. Just want to let you know. Thanks. Glad, glad you're here, Don. So noted. Thank Thanks, you. Jeff. Thanks, Lindy. Okay, members, we have the consent before us, items three through 10. Does anybody have any questions, concerns, or wish to discuss any of the items on the consent calendar? Uh, move consent. Second. Move by Holloway, second by Conant, I believe. Shaw. Oh, Shaw, got it. Thank you, Cyril. Um, any other comments, questions? If not, Lindy, you can go ahead and read the roll call. Thank you, Director Conan. Director Abdus. Aye. Director Reeder. Aye. Director Holloway. Aye. Director Shaw. Aye. Director Ashby. Chairman Harris. Aye. Director Jennings. Yes. Director Desmond. Aye. Director Frost. Aye. Vice Chairman Kennedy. Aye. Chairman Natoli, excuse me, <laughs> Director Natoli. <laughs> Aye. I promoted you. <laughs> Director <laughs> Cerna. Aye. Thank you. Motion passes with 10 member, excuse me, 11 member approval. Thank you, ladies. So next will be the election of officers followed by next the slide, director's report. Uh, Lindy, do you have instructions for how we're going to move through this? Chairman Harris, I do not. Well, then I'll take it from here. Uh, so we need to elect a chair and a vice chair. 
So what I'd like to do then is open it up for nominations for chair for the year 2022. And I would actually use my prerogative to nominate Patrick Kennedy for our next chairman. I'll second, doesn't it? Are there any other nominations for chair? Move to close nominations. Second. Yeah, so we can close the nomination period and Lindy, go ahead and call the roll to uh, hopefully make Patrick Kennedy our chairperson. Thank you, Director Conan. Present, yeah, and I. <laughs> Thank you. Director Avdis. Aye. Director Reeder. Aye. Director Holloway. Aye. Director Shaw. Aye. Director Ashby. Director Harris. Aye. Director Jennings. Yes. Director Desmond. Aye. Director Frost. Aye. Director Kennedy. Aye. Director Natoli. Aye. Director Cerna. Aye. Motion passes with 12 member approval, nominating Director Kennedy to chair. Very good. Uh, thank you, Lindy. So next is uh, nominations for vice chair. Mr. Chair, I'll nominate uh, Jeff Harris to be vice chair. Desmond. Well, thank you, Rich. I appreciate that. Uh, Aptis. I'm sorry, say again. Second that. Second. Very good. Are there any other nominations for vice chair? Move to close nominations. Second. Thank you, Brian. Thanks for the second. Lindy, call roll for this one. Thank you. Director Conant? Aye. Director Avdis? Aye. Director Reeder? Aye. Director Holloway? Aye. Director Shaw? Aye. Director Ashby? Director Harris? Aye. Director Jennings? Yes. Director Desmond? Aye. Director Frost? Aye. Director Kennedy? Aye. Director Natoli? Aye. Director Cerna? Aye. Motion passes with 12 member approval nominating Director Harris to vice chair position. Well, thank you all. That went very smoothly and um, great. Uh, Patrick, I am handing the gavel to you. Of course, the next thing is the executive director's report and then you can lead us into closed session, if you will. Next slide, please. Thank you. But before we do that, Lindy, I want to pick up where uh, Director Jennings left off uh, last month. And, and that's, uh, uh, you know, to really give kudos to uh, Vice Chair uh, Harris. Um, I've had the privilege of working with Vice Chair Harris for the last seven years on this board. Um, it's chair, Vice Chair often. And uh, we've been a good team. Um, I don't know anybody who's more dedicated, and that includes Rick Johnson, uh, to to Safeca, uh, and uh, his his knowledge far exceeds what I think is expected of most elected officials that sit on these boards. Um, you know, I've seen him in Washington D.C. Uh, with leaders of flood, where he could stand toe to toe with any one of them. And uh, you know, the work that he's done here in Sacramento has made Sacramento a safer place. Um, this is a job that doesn't get a lot of public accolades and people don't know what we're doing uh, until it fails. And, uh, you know, the work that uh, Mr. Harris has done, I think, keeps all of our neighborhoods safer. And, uh, in, and it's been done in a way that was in a gentlemanly manner. And I appreciate all your work, Jeff. Wow, well, th th Patrick, thanks so much. That means a lot. You're, you're right. I love flood control work. I love Safeco. I love the staff and working with them. And, you know, frankly, uh, they, it, it's been a tremendous experience to work with you and to go to Washington to get authorizations and appropriations and keep moving forward with these amazing projects that we're building at this time. Uh, it's been very gratifying. Still love the work and happy to uh, finish out my tenure as elected you know, uh, serving in this role on SAFCA. So I'm very, very happy about that. All right, sir, the floor is yours. 
Okay, Lindy, how are we going to close session? Next slide, please. Chairman Kennedy, we have the executive director's yeah, report right. prior to closed session. Sorry, I'm a little rusty. That's okay. We'll work with you, Patrick. Appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Appreciate um, you being here today. And uh, thank you, um, Jeff, for all the work last year. And uh, Patrick also is the vice chair and look forward to another uh, interesting year as we try to still navigate um, the new norms back in DC. So appreciate it. Um, I, we're still trying to get it right. This I, I this is our 23rd uh, virtual um, meeting of the board of directors, and and so we're still we're still trying to fix things that keep going wrong. But appreciate all all your patience and and thanks for. Uh, being willing to to move consent up so lindy or ali if you go to the next slide please so do have a little little bit of a disappointing news the um as you remember in november the president signed the infrastructure investment and jobs act um the core was to release a spending plan in 60 days which they did we were hoping to get some funding in there to start the comprehensive study on the yellow bypass, but it was not included. So um, we've got some, some more work to do this year to get that funding started. Um, we'll be coming back at the February board meeting with a plan as to how we're gonna continue to pursue that. But I did want to make you aware of that. So Ali, if you go to the next slide, please. So last board meeting and also during the exec committee, we talked about all the construction contracts that are going to be awarded in 22 and 23. There's a total of 30 of them. And if you go to the next slide, Alia, the, um, our main thing that we have to do is provide the real estate ahead of the core to be able to award those. And in some cases, they haven't finished the design far enough yet to even tell us what they need, but but that will be a challenge. Uh, in comparison, in 2021, we did 58 right away transactions worth just under $9 million. We've got 97 in 22 and 23, plus some that are unknown. And then there's 12 residential relocations potentially that um, are, uh, those are always the hardest ones worth between 30 and 35 million. Now, 43 of these are in 2023, but we have to certify the real estate by March of 23. So really, we pretty much have to do everything in 22. So just uh, kind of laying that groundwork on that. Uh, Ali, if you go to the next slide. So the other thing that's, that's happened is um, I cited several sources in my written report and the B had an article on it just a couple of days ago but on the average home prices appreciated about 25 percent last year or about two percent per month so this is making it hard as we're in in three areas one in our appraisals you know some since we're right on the river sometimes it's hard to find comp comps that um are relevant and so sometimes they may be a few months old and so at two percent a month that puts them a little bit behind before the appraisals are even done and then um once we get the appraisals and make the offer and negotiate sometimes there's several months like if it's five months before we're we're um getting a counter offer from the landowner we're already 10 percent in arrears and in, in what their value is based on the current market so that that's made it difficult and then um, the other thing is last year, the board uh, gave us um, an, an order to try to expedite so we didn't have to bring so many and wait for board meetings to be able to finish and close out deals to uh, limit on the delegation authority to a million dollars. But now with the 25% up, then we just, uh, in, in valuation, that pushes a bunch back over that limit that, um, that we we didn't have to a year ago. So, uh, Ali, if you go to the next slide. So uh, th w there were two proposed changes and, and they were on consent and, and we had to change the calendar. So we've already voted on, but basically one was to delegate authority to uh, make the revisions as we're um, uh, making the offers and, and uh, 
doing the negotiations to um, the latest market based value adjustment and then also uh, raise the ceiling from a million to 1.25 million to help expedite this year so we can try to stay ahead of this massive amount of work and Ali, go to the next slide and then next at february board meeting we are going to bring back some process modifications we're planning and then uh, if we have any additional actions that we might need the board to take so changing gears ali if you could jump to another slide we talked about this at a little bit at exec committee, I, I wanted to further expound on it. Um, in June of 2019, we finally executed the new water control manual at Folsom. That's how that's the manual that dictates how we operate. And it was a forecast based operation for the first time ever. This is our first year since the new manual went into um, being that we've actually reached flood operations. So, Ali, if you go to the next slide. So, I wanted to talk about that a little bit. So, atmospheric rivers are, are our big problem here. They provide about half the precipitation on the West Coast and, and um, basically often have broken up our drought his, droughts historically. But from a flood standpoint, um, they generate most of our extreme precipitation events. Um, and annually they've been responsible for about, about a billion dollars in damage a year along the west coast um just ali if you go to the next slide just to kind of give you an idea how large some of these are think of the mississippi river the average atmospheric river carries about 20 times 25 times the amount of water uh, equivalent in the form of vapors um than than the mississippi river carries you know, swath 500 miles wide and thousands of miles in length and um, winds up to hurricane force. Um, so the, the, it, it really, it, this is our storm that we're really concerned about here in Sacramento. If you go to the next slide, Lindy. So this is a, a, a satellite view of the one that hit us in October that, that brought in um, the event that we, we had and set, set the record rain back then. Luckily, it was before we had the snowpack, and, and so there wasn't um, a lot of uh, um, threat from system-wide flooding, but there was a significant amount of localized flooding there. So if you go to the next slide, Alia. Um, so I, I wanted to make you aware that uh, starting the first week in January, the, the Hurricane Hunter aircraft mobilized for a three-month period. Now, they're critical for uh, collecting the data to help understand what as these rapid atmospheric rivers form what is heading our way. And this is part of a program that is uh, centered down in UC uh, San Diego from their uh, Western Weather and Water Extremes um, Center, uh, Scripps Institute, the Corps of Engineers, Department of Water Resources, National uh, Weather Service, uh, and the Air Force Reserve all participate in this. So going a little, digging a little more detail, uh, Ali, if you go to the next slide. So in order to support our forecast here at Folsom, this winter there's two Air Force Reserve Super Hercules aircraft that um, are these atmosphere, they'll wait and go flat out of Mather as these atmospheric rivers approach the West Coast. And then go to the next slide, Ali. And then the weather surface has their jet stationed in Hawaii. And so when, as these atmospheric rivers approach, um, these three aircraft will go out and collect the data uh, that will be used. Ali, if you go to the next slide. So um, we have our new forecast based operation. They'll collect the data that feeds the decisions in that um, real time operation there. So uh, just a reminder, our old operation with upstream storage reservoirs full, we would have had to draw Folsom down about 67% empty. With the new operation, we're we're holding the flood space at at 40% empty all during the winter, and then uh, five days ahead, based on the information that these planes and our other tools provide, if it looks like we need additional space to handle the storm, then we'll create that space um, ahead of that storm. So. I, I just wanted to make you aware that um, the 
the operation of Folsom is more than just a piece of paper. That it, it takes a lot of a lot of logistics behind the scene to protect us here. So I I, I hadn't really explained that before, and, and wanted to make you aware of that. And then finally, Ali, if you go to the final slide here, um, we have uh, moved, and our new address is at thirteen twenty five J Street, fifteenth um, floor. Um, I wanted to thank Alia, um, Scott, Nadine, Jason, and others who have had the challenge of trying to move us with an elevator that was down um, most of the time. So, um, and we we still have stuff to, to get over there, but but we're getting up and functional now. We're still, for the most part, working remote because of the um, safety issues but um we we do have a new address there and i want to make you aware that's all i had and i'll take any questions are there any questions seeing no hands raised and remind everybody that uh, in this format the hand raised function is in the reactions button okay thank you rick now lindy how are we going to close session? Lindy? Lindy, you're on mute. Excuse me. There you go. I want to let everybody know that we will be going to closed session now and the directors will return following conclusion of that to continue items that are listed on the agenda. Please remember that the meeting will continue to be recorded and leave your microphones on mute. A note to directors and designated staff to be on the lookout to accept a dialogue box that will pop up on your screen in order to join closed session, you'll just click yes. And we will adjourn now to closed session. Um, I, I'm sorry, we need to do a roll call to make sure that we have everybody back from closed session. And I'll do that now, Director Cohen. Uh, here. Director Avdis. Director Avdis? Director Reeder? Present. Director Holloway? Aye. Here. Director Shaw? Here. Director Ashby? Um, Vice Chairman Harris? Here. Director Jennings? Here. Director Desmond? Here. Director Frost? Chair Kennedy? Director Natoli. Director Natoli. And Director Serna. Here. Thank you. We'll have a report out on closed session, Government Code Section 54956.8, Conference with Real Property Negotiators, Sutter County APN 35080032, Negotiating Party. J. Rise Richter, John Norman on behalf of Brookfield Properties under negotiation price and terms of payment. Thank you. No, nothing to report at this time. Agency Council Jeremy Goldberg, nothing to report at this time. Thank you. Government Code Section 54956.8, Conference with Real Property Negotiators, Sutter County APN 35080022, Negotiating Party, Leland C. Lynn under negotiation, price and terms of payment. This is Jeremy Goldberg, Agency Counsel. Nothing to report at this time. Thank you. Next slide, please. Government Code Section 54956.8, Conference with Real Property Negotiators, Sutter County APN 35120003. 35120-007, Negotiating Party, Robert Leal on behalf of Odysseus Farms, under negotiation, price and terms of payment. This is uh, Agency Counsel Jeremy Goldberg, nothing to report at this time. Thank you. And finally, Government Code Section 54956.8, Conference with Real Property Negotiators regarding 
Sacramento County APN 274-0270-007-274-0560-048 and 274-0560-054 Negotiating Party Mark Wellendorf, Brian Manning Esquire on behalf of Swallow's Nest under negotiation, price and terms of payment. Agency Council, Jeremy Goldberg, nothing to report at this time. Thank you very much. Next slide, please, Alia. Next, we have separate matters. Item 11, resolution number 2022-008, fixing the employer contribution under the Public Employees Medical and Hospital Care Act at an equal amount for employees and annuitants. Thank you, Lindy. This is Jason Campbell, Deputy Executive Director. Ali, can you go ahead and go to the next slide, please? So last month, we brought to your board the informational item to discuss this, this action to go ahead and modify our existing agreement for the Public, em Public Employees Medical and Hospital Care Act uh, contract we have with CalPERS. The uh, amendment will eliminate some conflicts between the agreement and our current valuation uh, efforts to pay for and retired annuitants uh, medical benefits and the employee handbook. So basically what we're trying to do is make a correction. The requirement by government code is that we bring it to your board at minimum of two weeks before today's action. So that's why we brought it last month to make you aware of that informational request and to come forward with this action today. So currently our actuarial valuation for this modification will cost say, about $600 a year. So with that, we would like to make the recommendation that you move the item so that we can amend the agreement with CalPERS. Any questions? Mr. Chair, this is Director Stern. I'll move the item. Second. I have a motion to second. Lindy, will you please call the roll call? Thank you. Director Conan? Aye. Director Abdus. Director Reeder. Aye. Director Holloway. Aye. Director Shaw. Aye. Director Ashby. Vice Chairman Harris. Aye. Rick, Director Jennings. Yes. Director Desmond. Aye. Director Frost. Aye. Thank you. Chairman Kennedy. Aye. Director Natoli. Director Cerna. Aye. Thank you. Motion passes with 10 member approval. Thank you. Next slide, Thank please. You. Our next items are receive and file quarterly reports. And the next slide, please. Okay, with that. There's no other questions or comments of the board are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Be safe out there.